Hey guys, it's Evelita here and welcome to a new video on my channel. Uh, if you're new to this channel, I have a little series on my channel called Cocktails with Evie, where we sit down, make a little cocktail, share the recipe, spill some tea, talk some shit, share some story times, um, just have a good time. In today's episode, I'm going to show you my favorite way of how I make my uh, michelada. It's one of my favorite drinks ever. So I like to cut up my lemons, I mean my limes like this. Sorry, it's really late at night. I'm very tired. <laughs> um, and then this is my favorite Bloody Mary mix. And yes, I like to use a Bloody Mary mix. Um, you make sure you use a Mexican beer, either Modelo or Tecate, whatever you like. Um, so then I like to kind of put some lime on the rim and dip it into the tahin. Uh, that makes such a big difference. Add some ice, squeeze a bunch of lemons, and you can add as many as you want, as little as you want. It's up to you. I like to add a lot of the mix because I love to make it very tomato-y. Um, and then also add a little bit of hot sauce. You know, if you want some Worcestershire sauce, it's up to you. Add the beer, garnish more lemon. There you go. Delicious and refreshing, baby. Mm, God, I love a good michelada. I probably have tahino all over my mouth. So I had this video idea for a while now. I wanted to kind of go behind the scenes of my Instagram photos and sort of talk about the most like dangerous, silly, dumb things I've done to get the shot. I don't know if you guys remember back in the day, um, there's this influencer, Asina O'Neill. She had like this massive uh, meltdown on the internet and she went crazy and she was like, uh, re-edited all her captions, exposing how like all of this is fake and it's not real life and she's gonna go off social media and start a farm and have chickens and not do this again. Something like that. This is not that. This is not an inspirational video. This is not me exposing how fake social media is. We already know this. Uh, this is more just like looking back and uh, making fun of myself. Is it possible that next week I'm gonna post something dumb and risk my life or post a dumb caption again? Yes, I'm gonna take you guys on a little bit of a journey. I kind of screenshotted like uh, some old Instagrams and we're gonna start from the older ones and build up to the newer ones. All right, so the first photo I wanted to show you is not necessarily something crazy or stupid that I did, but it's kind of a story that wasn't mentioned in the photo. I had to shoot this campaign for this TV show and like uh, they did like a whole set of like a plane crash. Like it was like kind of like they crashed on an island in Malibu. Um, so I had to go there and take the photo and like hashtag and like promote the show. I was so late that day and I was running so fast and you know how they have those like uh, metal spikes in a parking lot so people don't like back into it. So like if you like back into your where you're not supposed to be like we'll slash your tires. So I wasn't even looking and I was like running so fast and um, that metal spike went through ugh, I'm like getting chills talking about it. That metal spike went through my sandal and literally like slashed my foot. I have never seen so much blood come out of my foot. So if you look at that photo, you see my leg bandaged up. I don't remember what we used. I think we like cut up a t-shirt and put some napkins and just like wrap my foot so I can like limp to set and take the photo. Um, yeah, that happened. So this one actually inspired this whole video because it kind of shows how ridiculous this is. This gorgeous picture of me just like jumping off a cliff with an inspirational quote. Like, wait, what, what did I say? I love the person I've become because I fought hard to become her. <clears throat> One of my biggest fears in life is jumping in water. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't even jump in a pool. I, I'm scared. I'm scared I'm gonna hit something. I'm scared of jumping in like deep water. I'm scared of jumping off a cliff. Like that's one of my biggest fears. Like you cannot get me to do that. So we were on Amalfi Coast, south of Italy. It was my best friend's wedding. We were just there kind of like having a good old jolly time and everybody was jumping off the cliff and I was like, I'm not doing it. And then everybody's like, Evelina, like do it. And then I see like all the moms are doing it. The kids are doing it. Like, it, like the moms, like the 60, 50 year old moms are jumping off a cliff and I can't. So I got really mad at myself. I was like, look, if there's gonna be one time in my life that I'm gonna look back and like regret this whole situation is that I didn't jump off a cliff in Amalfi with my best friends. So I look down and I'm like, absolutely not. Like this shit is high and there's all these really sharp rocks. I'm like, there's no way. But then there's also this internal struggle. If there's gonna be one time in my life that I do this, it's gonna be now. What do I have to do to do this? I can't do this shit sober. So if you've ever been to Amalfi Coast, you know that you have to like hike like thousands of stairs to like go back to like go to a shop or whatever. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go get some wine. I'm gonna drink a little wine. I'm gonna do it. So I went up like almost like 45 minutes of hiking to go to the store, bought a bottle of wine, hiking down. I drink, I, I have never drink so fast so much in my life as far as wine goes. I just like pretty much was chugging the whole thing. Like I was 
scared shitless like for me it was like me jumping to my death like it was like the scariest thing in the world so by the time i get down like pretty much the whole bottle is open i'm like all right fuck it let's do it i give my friend my phone i'm like do it for the gram at least i get a good picture of it and then i can tell people that i did it so i'm like drunk at this point like the wine is like really hitting me and i literally jumped way too close to the cliff like i didn't jump i just went like bloop. and you can see there how close i was to the cliff and my friends were like oh my god like we thought you're gonna die and the funniest part of the story is my friend was like oh i'm sorry i forgot to take a picture and i was like shit i gotta do it again and then the second time it's also scary and then again he like trolls me doesn't take the picture so i keep doing it over and over again till he gets the picture might as well and then i posted it on instagram with an inspirational quote about how i'm brave and i have no fears was it worth it nope so this one is one of the more recent ones that I've done and if you look at it, you're probably gonna have a heart attack right now. So what's funny is even though I have this fear of jumping into water, I literally don't have that much of a fear of heights. So there's been like multiple, 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 multiple pictures on my Instagram, either me on a ledge, me hanging off the side of the building, uh, me with my feet dangling down the side of the building, and my friends always think I'm literally insane. But for some reason, like my brain doesn't put together like the danger, because in my head I'm like, if I feel like I have enough support on my body, like I don't feel in danger. So for the next one, it's not that crazy of a story, but I remember being terrified for my life because I was in Tulum. And if you know anything about Tulum, there's jungle everywhere. So there's these like beautiful, like little boutique hotels um, that are kind of like deep in the jungle. So I met up with my friend Henry. He's an amazing, talented photographer. And he told me to like walk a while in the bush and when i'm telling you i went like deep in there so it kind of looks like i'm like engulfing it i did but i just remember being so freaking terrified that there could have been like a snake a tarantula a sea monster like anything in there and i was like freaking terrified um my legs got super scratched i got like a couple mosquito bites turns out i was alive and well after but that's kind of the price of that photo <laughs> so this one picture actually inspired the idea behind this video um as you can see i'm like enjoying a little picnic and like it's like so cute or whatever so the story behind this <laughs> uh we were at my ex-boyfriend's ranch and they had like a little christmas get together there's like a bunch of like little hors d'oeuvres cheese plates and stuff and i really wanted to like get a quick little picture to like post content or whatever so i started collecting like a bunch of like hors d'oeuvres i'm like we're gonna do a picnic picture and literally it was like five minutes before the sun was gonna set like it like it was setting like it was about to disappear and i literally grabbed like a tray put everything that i could put like grabbed a blanket grabbed like a little cape a hat and i just like we sprinted down the hill sat down rearranged everything and i'm just like <laughs> looking back at that there was nothing romantic about it there's no picnic involved at all. We didn't even eat the food. We were literally just hoping to make it before the sun set so we can get the shot. And uh, that, that's about that. This one's not as crazy compared to the other ones, but I remember I was in um, Hawaii and Maui for this benefit trip. Um, and I wanted to do a little picture holding a pineapple drink. And there was no pineapple drinks in my hotel. So I sounded like such a dumb bitch making this request. I was like, hi um can you please make me a glass out of a pineapple they're like what do you mean i'm like can you bring my orange juice or like my pineapple juice this morning if you can carve a pineapple and like carve the top and make like a glass out of it and they're like yeah they probably thought i was like the dumbest person ever but it was a cute picture turned out great I have no shame. So this was probably one of my favorite photo shoots of all time. We shot this in Moldova when I was visiting my family like maybe three to four years ago. Um, and there's a really talented photographer there and he wanted to do something different. He wanted to do like a very seamless, cool underwater photo shoot. Again, I'm not good with water. I cannot hold my breath underwater. I cannot look graceful underwater. Like as, as soon as I go underwater, I'm like, <gasps> and I have to like go back up. So like that photo shoot literally took four to five hours just like constantly like holding my breath and there's too many bubbles and like my face looks like this and i'm like this like it doesn't look like i'm a mermaid floating or anything so i just remember like i had like water coming out of my nose my ears everywhere for like a week like it was like not, i was not okay do you guys have any tips on like how to actually float and look graceful underwater because i literally just like as soon as i go down i panic and bubbles start coming out of my nose and i just like float up and it just doesn't look cute uh this one was so dumb um yeah i chipped my tooth what was i doing i literally was like biting on a nail i was like editing super late at night i was like playing with my nail and it like chipped my tooth in half 
And I just remember I was like, I need to take a picture of this. Like, this is so dumb. Like, I just feel like I always post like great moments of myself. Like, I just want to take a picture of it, but it's dark outside. So I waited for the sun to come up and I took this at like six in the morning and like set up a tripod on my balcony. I was like, and I was like, if somebody were to see me on their balcony right now, like I look like an absolute dumbass. I went to EDC with one of my really good girlfriends and we're just kind of like relaxing, drinking wine and watching the Royal Wedding. It was like four or five in the morning. And then we decided to do like a little impromptu photo shoot. Um, we got like the most insane dumb pictures in the hallways and there were like people coming back from the festival and like opening the elevator I'm just like sitting there like in my robe and like, a magazine. It's like, how do you explain that? That I feel like is like the theme for a lot of these photos You just like can't care what people think it is literally about to get pitch black outside So I better wrap this video up. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and had fun laughing at my expense because Why should we take ourselves so seriously? Social media is not that serious Pictures and captions are not that serious and sometimes the story um, is worth a thousand words that doesn't fit into an Instagram caption. Does that make sense? Probably not. Since you're already here, don't forget to give this video a like. It helps me out so much. It kind of pushes my video to make sure that people see it. And also leave me a comment with any subjects, topics that you want me to talk about, any questions that you have. Um, and on that note, I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting me, being here with me. Um, I love you. I will see you in my next video. Bye!